morning. Welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. This is Shelly, and we're here making some easy cherry tomato marinara. Uh, I tried making the salsa with my cherry tomatoes, and it was just too sweet. So I'm going to try some marinara with a bunch that I just got the other day uh, out of the garden. So I have to do three pans. It calls for two pans, but I have so much that I'm just trying to get it cooked up. So I've got two pans all cooked up. So you can see that. And then I've got another one ready to go or getting ready to go. I'm going to show you how I did that. Uh, the recipe for this I got from um, mashupmom.com. I just typed it in the Google search and that's what came up and it's easy and I had almost everything. So all I had to pick up was olive oil because I was out, but I have everything else and some stuff from the garden, my onions I'm gonna use and we're gonna get to it. So first thing is you take all the stems off your tomatoes and you wash them. And then put them in your pan. They have too many for this pan. All right, put them in your pan. Let's get rid of that. All right, and then I'm gonna sprinkle mine with some red pepper. Some oregano leaves. In her recipe, which I will link above and down below in the description, she had uh, fresh, and I have it in the already in the pantry. So I just I'm using the dry. And so this is basil, and I'm just sprinkling it on there, and a little sea salt. Just sprinkle it over the pan. And some garlic. And again, she said, you know, fresh, fresh clove of garlic, but I can't keep garlic around here because we use a lot of it. So I just buy it in these big containers. All right, and then some of my chopped up onion. I think the way she did it was a little bit bigger she chopped it up, instead of dicing it, she chopped it up in big chunks, but this is what I have and makes it a little bit easier. And I'm also gonna add some jalapenos. Seeds and all. that down and then we're going to just drizzle it with some olive oil all right and hopefully that doesn't go over the lip of the pan make sure everything's all flat and so that's going to go into the oven for at 400 degrees for 40 minutes um, I think I did an extra five minutes on these two pans, so I'll probably do that. So I'm gonna say 45 minutes. They just weren't quite wrinkly enough, I didn't think. They're supposed to be a little wrinkly and cook down some. And then I'll show you what we do after that. Okay, next step is I got my little my little uh, food processor. It's just a little guy, a couple, I don't know. I think it's a cup and a half size. So it's just a little, it's gonna take me a while, but uh, we'll get it done. So my two pans, I have the pan that I just showed you in the oven cooking. So I'm gonna do these two pans that I already uh, cooked. And you need a slotted spoon. And your pan needs to be cooled down a little bit. You don't wanna do it fresh out of the oven. It'd be right, way too hot. This one I can, I can touch, it's warm, but I can touch it, hold my hand on it. 
And so what I'm going to do is you're supposed to scoop up your, your ingredients. I don't know, maybe I'm supposed to let it drain off a little bit. There is a little bit of oil in there, but that's okay. Now the other ingredient that I have is tomato paste. That's to thicken it up, so you do it as thick as you want. Tomato paste thickens up your sauces, so you'll want to put in what you want, what you like for marinara, or how thick you like it. Now that isn't red, it's more of an orange. More of an orange sauce. That looks really good though. And so then you just take a little of your paste. Of course, if you had a bigger food processor, it would probably work a little better. Put a little of that in there. There's your lid. And that's gonna make it a little more red for you if you are really picky about your what your marinara looks like. That's pretty thick. That's pretty good for that one. Oh, it smells so good. You need some smell of vision. So I'm just gonna empty the <clears throat> excuse me, I'm just gonna empty this one out and put it in my bowl and then I'll continue on and just keep on doing It gave me about eight cups of marinara. These are not peeled tomatoes. They're not seeded, nothing. I took the whole tomato, put it in the pan, cooked it till they were good and wrinkly with all those seasonings and garlic and onion. And it's got a kick to it. It's a little, I can feel a little on the tip of my tongue, a little bit in the back of my throat. It's a little, I like it. So this is gonna be good. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm still waiting for the other pan to finish, but while I'm waiting for that, I'm gonna take some of these, put them in a freezer bag, and make them flat, get all the air out, and put them in the freezer to uh, take out whenever we need some. So this is gonna work out pretty good, I think. So I still have my third pan that just came out of the oven. It's cooling, so I'm gonna do the same process with that one. Put it in the food processor, scramble it all up, and put it in my, my bowl and get them into these freezer bags. I did about one cup increments with these for these bags. You can pull them out, put them in sauces, use them as dips for garlic bread, garlic knots, whatever, ha what, what have you. Uh, and so that'll thicken up your sauces a little bit too if you decide you want that. So as far as uh, the hotness or warmth of the sauce goes, as mild, medium, or hot, I'd say it's a more of a medium. It has got a little, little hotness on the tongue. It's really good. If you don't like that, take out your jalapenos and uh, red pepper flakes and just put in the onions and garlic and your spices and that should be fine it shouldn't be as hot if you want it hotter put more jalapeno <laughs> and red pepper in it uh so but we like it about medium that'll be that'll be just right for us so i'm going to pop these in the freezer and do the other pan 
but I'm not going to make you guys watch that. It's the same process. And I hope you guys uh, like this and want to try it. If you do, comment down below if you've tried it before or if you're going to. And then come back and let us know if you did and if you really like it because I think it was a very easy recipe. And I like the fact that I didn't have to uh, chop or peel the tomatoes or take any of the seeds out. It's all in there. And you can make it chunkier if you want to and thicker too with that tomato paste. So with that, we will uh, let you go. And thank you for stopping by Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid in the kitchen. And we'll see you next time.